Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how you can sell almost anything to anyone and do it without sounding like a used car salesman, perhaps even have the clients enjoying the process. Let's get into it. Firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I'm the founder of a marketing education company called adclients.com. We specialize in helping people selling courses and coaching and services to scale their businesses to six and seven figures. I'm pleased you're here. Today's video, I wanna help you if you are trying to close high ticket clients, but you are struggling. Maybe you haven't got enough people to speak to and the, the people that you do, you feel like you're saying the wrong things. Maybe you feel like you're all caught up in the competition of your industry. So many other people selling similar things to what you are selling right now that it feels like how on earth could you possibly compete without just hammering someone with sales malarkey to try and get them across the line and beat them across the line before someone from your competition does. So if that's you, I wanna share with you how you can take someone from a stranger to a ready to buy client and actually sign them up to your high ticket programs and actually have it potentially feel good to the client on the other end of the phone and not having you sound like a sleazy salesman. The first thing that you've got to do is you've got to find a way to lead with value, right? This is becoming more and more prominent and it might sound obvious, but it is the truth right now. If you are taking someone through a very short sales process, they've never heard of you before, and in a matter of clicks or in a matter of minutes, they can find themselves on a phone call with you, then they don't have a level of trust or relationship built with you that is going to have them signing up uh, to your high ticket program on the phone. It's gonna to lead to a longer sales cycle out the other end. It's gonna to lead to you feeling like you've got to pressure them into signing up because you're desperate for the sale. We don't wanna have any of that going on. And a way to combat that is to make sure you're providing value up, up front and you're elongating the sales process this end of a phone call so that by the time they're on the phone, they're qualified, they're targeted, and they are excited to speak with you. A couple of ways that you can do that. First is through what you are giving them ahead of time, right? When someone comes into your funnel, genuinely teach them some cool stuff that they will actually enjoy, actually get value from, and also is the perfect stepping stone to join whatever the coaching is that you've got next. And the second thing is the vehicle in which you deliver that value. And what works best for us, in fact, I did shoot a, a video recently called the high ticket funnel that I'm using for 2022. And I'll leave that pinned somewhere around here. Uh, go ahead and check that out. But the funnel that I'm using is a webinar funnel. It is the best way to provide value in a concentrated environment where you've got someone's attention and then offer them the chance to speak with you out the other end. Now, before I share with you the second thing that you can be doing, let me know in the comments box, what are the biggest objections that you are facing? If you're speaking to potential clients on the phone and they're not signing up, what are the biggest objections? What are the biggest reasons they're not joining? Let me know in the comments section because me and my team look through those and that helps us determine what we can teach on this channel next. Now, here's the second thing you can do to make your sales process smoother and that is when someone books a call on your calendar you make them fill out an application form to go along with that call booking this changed the game for us when we implemented this a few years back you do not want to just have a day full of calls but you don't have any context on this person you have no idea if they're a troublemaker uh, if they're even the right type type of you know client avatar for you and so you're spending so much time on the phone just to figure stuff out that could have been automated by asking them a series of questions along with their call booking. And furthermore, gives you the luxury to cancel calls if they don't feel like a good fit. We do this all the time, every single day. We have people booking appointments to speak with my team about our coaching and we cancel multiple calls every single day because based on the answers to uh, their, their application, we just determine they're just not a good fit and we don't wanna waste their time nor waste ours. Now this acts as, a, as the ultimate gatekeeper so that you're only on the phone with qualified people and just by default, that means you're gonna have a better conversation and don't need to sound like a sleazy salesperson. And the third thing, and this is really important, and this really does help make Make the sales process easier and smoother only enroll people into your programs only endeavor to enroll people into your programs if you genuinely think that you can help them and they're a good fit it's my understanding that one of the biggest reasons that you will sound like a used car salesman is if you act like one 
right? If you go on to, uh, you know, a car dealership, uh, specifically a used car dealership, they, they, they want to sell you a car. That's it. They don't really care if it's actually the right car for you. They're not really going to find out exactly what your family situation looks like and whether you do need an SUV or you need a saloon or it's this, that, and the other. No, they're probably going to find out your budget, find out the kind of things that you're telling them that you want, and they're just going to endeavor to sell you a car um, that fits the description of what you've asked for. We don't want to do things like that. We want to find out what this person's situation truly is, what they need, and then actually decide if we can help them and be willing and open to turn people away and not enroll them if they're not a good fit. And if you do this, and if you do it properly, and if you do it carefully, that will be obvious on the phone. Or it'll at least be, be far more apparent to the person you're speaking to. You will build a level of trust that wasn't there before. And then when you do make an offer, they're more likely to take you seriously and enroll in the program because they can sense the level of care that is going into your questioning and then the offer that's been made. So that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If it was and you'd like to learn more about me and my company and how we can help you grow your business to six and seven figures, then visit adclients.com and you can hear more about us and see if we're a good fit. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We put out new videos like this every single week. In fact, there's a couple of videos on the screen right now I think you might find helpful, and I'll see you in a future video.